short selling Snapchat today, getting a little bit of profit here, middle of the day, wasn't able to trade this morning, but I got one trade here on Snapchat. Gonna break it down in this video, kind of talking about what my whole plan was and why I did what I did. So stay tuned. What's going on guys? So this morning I had to go and film some drone stuff about 8 a.m. and I saw the alerts, I saw people talking about Snapchat and I was really bummed because I was like, man, I could have really nailed Snapchat this morning. I made a video talking about it last night and then kind of talked about this morning as a possible short, possible long, but really I was more towards the short side. Uh, somebody gave me crap because I talked about it being, uh, wow, it's going to the moon, but I was just being a little bit sarcastic. I really talked about how I thought Snapchat was just a major short squeeze. So that would have gave you an idea that I was, you know, on the bear side. I didn't think that Snapchat was really going to the moon, but whatever, somebody got upset about it. It's whatever, they unfollowed me or unsubscribed because I said that it was going to the moon. But if you actually watched the video, you would have seen that I was not talking about Snapchat actually going to the moon. I was actually talking about it being a short sale. So, you know, I got home, what time is it? I got home around 12, told myself, Patrick, maybe we won't trade today. I don't wanna trade today, it's already 12 o'clock, I'm gonna walk away, I'm not gonna trade. And then I got on the computer and a couple people messaged me and they were like, hey, did you see Snapchat? I made so much money, oh, Snapchat, I shorted, shorted, shorted. And I was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. So then I told myself I was gonna make $100. I was like, Patrick, let's go make $100. We can do it, I know you can do it. Let's just take a look at Snapchat. Let's take a look at Snapchat, see what's going on, see if there's any opportunity here. And I actually, right when I pulled up the chart, I saw that it was getting up here uh, to this $20 area and I was like, oh, oh, okay, okay. There's, this is, there's something setting up here. This could be a short. So you can see this morning it bouncing. So you can see this morning, it got all the way up there to 2220 pre-market all the way up there. And I talked about that last night, kind of that $22 area being the next resistance from that $20 area. There it is. So up there to $22, not that I saw the future, but I mean, I looked at the chart, I saw the resistance and that's where it stopped at 2221. So after that, it just got hammered. The shorts piled in. They were like, hey, we are over this. We are tired of this crap. This is not going up anymore. And you can see from 2220 down there, low of day at 1869. So when I first pulled up the chart, I was looking at this and it was getting up here towards this 1987 area. And I was like, oh, it's looking looking like it might want to, you know, get stuck there again. So you can see earlier today, we had that resistance there, $20 area resistance. And I was thinking, okay, there's a good chance. But I was also worried because it did bounce off this kind of 1880 area. You can see kind of that support forming consolidation there. It was moving across, consolidating, getting back above the EMAs there. And I was like, uh-oh, you know, maybe this is gonna get bullish here and then break over 20 and go crazy again. Who knows, maybe there's another short squeeze is gonna happen because all the shorts that piled in here trying to crash this down, maybe they're stubborn. They're trying to hold this for a long time, trying to crash this back down, but maybe uh, this is gonna you know, get bullish. So I was watching it and you can look at the one minute chart here, a little bit easier to see. So I was watching it, it got there the 1987 area, it pulled back and then kind of bounced. So we saw that kind of that wave there, getting up to that 1990 area and I was thinking, okay, uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it right here. So then it found some support again at that EMA area, at the nine EMA there. And I was like, all right, you know, maybe we'll retest that $20 area one more time and I'll go short. So on this candle, it got there to 1983. And so you can see, you know, it didn't really break out above that high on that 1987. So I was looking at it like there was a lot of sell pressure there. I was watching level two. There's a lot of sellers stacking up. There was just kind of just a lot of selling going on there. So then on this next candle, I was like, I'm gonna just jump in here. I got in there at 1975. Probably could have been a little bit more patient and thought that maybe this was going to test the highs one more time. Maybe test that 1987 area one more time, which it ended up doing. It got there to the 1985. So, you know, I could have been a little bit more patient here, but I told myself, hey, I'm going to hold this. My stop's going to be there at the high, this 1987 area. If it breaks above that, I'm going to get out. But if it doesn't, I'm going to hold it. And I was looking to make $100. Like I said, I was gonna tell myself I'm gonna make $100 today. We're gonna make $100 and we're gonna walk away and that's gonna be the day. We're, no matter what, Patrick, let's make $100 and let's just, let's lock it in. So, I had 1,000 shares. You can see my orders up here. Got 1,000 shares there at 1975 and then got up here at 1987. I was like, oh man, this is gonna turn against me. I'm gonna lose $100, good job, Patrick. Well, instead, it started to sell off. So it had that kind of double top there, that resistance getting stuck there at 1987 and then pull it on down here. Well, we had the VWAP there. So the VWAP bounced it a couple times. It was bouncing in the 1960 area, and I was thinking, it's gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna give it some time here. And then it get pulled down here to the 1955. This candle low was 1955. I got filled there, 
at 1957 with 500 shares. Well, then it started to bounce back up, started to move back up. And I was like, damn it. Damn it. Okay. Give it some time here. And then it started using the VWAP as support there, kind of bouncing 1964, 1965 area. It looked like there was a lot of buyers stacking up there. People were trying to buy in there, thinking this was going to bounce back up to those highs. But instead, it got crashed down, and I ended up getting out there. I had my stop there at 1970 area. It broke. It got right there in the 1970 area. My, I was basically going to try to just hold this with my stop there, let it ride. But it got, I got stopped out, and you know, ended up making 100 bucks. So my goal was to make 100 dollars. I put my stop in there. That way I guaranteed I made $100, and that's what I did. So I ended up getting out there. I think I got filled at 1970. So 1970, the high on that candle was 1970. Perfect, right? That's great. You, I mean, obviously, like I said, I went into this with a plan of making $100. I was at that point. If this would have bounced above 1970, I would have not made $100. So you can see my profit here. Ended up making $115. The $15 is going to cover my commissions and fees. And I'll be right at about $100 on profit. So not bad. Not bad. A total of, you know, what? About 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes trading here. And now you can see Snapchat's down there to 1935. 1935. Yeah, I could have let, the let those other 500 shares ride maybe. Maybe put my stop at this 1975 area. Uh, right where I got in for break even. But then I wouldn't have made my $100. So really, like I said, my goal was to make $100. I wanted to make $100 a day. I made $100, so then I just called it, and I got out of it. So a couple people upset that I called Snapchat going to the moon, which if you watch the video, I was very sarcastic. A lot of times I think I'm sarcastic, and I think a lot of people don't pick up on that. I'm very sarcastic. I say things like, it's going to the moon, or oh, it's go it's crashing, or stuff like that, just because it's some energy. Get some energy. Get some pep in your step. Everyone sitting here watching these videos, they're bored. They want something, some kind of entertainment, and I'm trying to entertain you guys. I'm trying to entertain you with my hard-earned money. I'm trying to buy some stocks, sell some stocks, and make some money so that way people will watch the videos. That way people will like the videos and that way people leave comments. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you don't like me, if you don't like these videos, don't leave a comment. It's fine. And also, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe now. Talk to you guys later.